Hey everyone, welcome to online classes. Today we are going to cover very basic yet important topic that is present indefinite tense. So let's begin with the definition first. Present indefinite tense is used to describe simple, repetitive and habitual action and those actions that happen in present time. This tense mentions simple, habitual action general or universal truth and repeated actions occurring on regular basis. Next is the structure of present indefinite tense in affirmative sentence. Subject plus first form of verb with S, E, S, I, E, S if required plus object. In present indefinite tense, always first form of verb is used. Keep this in mind that never use helping verb in affirmative sentence of present indefinite tense because the verb of a verb of a sentence or the first form of verb with s e s or i e s itself represent an action in present state. I hope here you understand the function of verb. Now let me tell you about subject. Subject means a doer. If the subject is in third person singular means if the subject is he, she, it or any singular noun then s, e, s or i, e, s will be used. But at some point students get confused and are stuck in the middle of sentences that where to use s, e, s or i, e, s. So dear students, let me explain you where to use these letters. To begin with the first letter S, it comes after the verbs which end in a consonant letter. For example, jump, J-U-M-P. Jump is a verb and it is a first form of verb. And with jump, we are going to add S here. Why? Because it is a verb which end in a consonant letter. And the consonant letter is P. That is why we put S after P and it becomes jumps. We'll come to the next example later. Next we have ES. Where to use ES? It should used after the verbs which end in a where letter. For example, go. G O go. Go is a verb. It's a first form of verb and if you see O, O is a verb letter. That is why we are using ES, G-O-E-S, goes. Next is I-E-S. It should be used after the verbs which have a last letter X, Y, C-H and so on that follows a consonant letter example c a r r y carry now this carry is a verb okay and the last letter is y carry now this y is a consonant letter but before y we have another consonant letter that is r that is why we replace Y with I and add ES. So it becomes carries. Same with the other two words cry. C R Y. Y is a consonant letter and before that we have R. R is also a consonant letter. That is why we replace or change Y into I plus ES. Okay, we add ES. So it becomes cries. Second, sorry, third one is study. S T U D Y. Y is a consonant letter. Before that, we have D. D is also a consonant letter. That is why we change Y into I and add ES. So it becomes studies. Now let's get back to the second example of first letter that is S. The second example is say. S-A-Y say. It's a first form of verb. 
but why we are using s here if the last letter is y it is because y is a consonant letter okay but before y we have a vowel letter that is a that is why we use s and it becomes says s a y s Okay, so this is the structure of negative sentences of present indefinite tense. Subject plus do not, does not plus first form of verb plus object. Here we are going to use do not and does not to negate with their statement. Let's have a glance where to use does and do. Does uses with such pronouns he she it or any singular noun do uses with such pronoun I you we they or plural noun and the examples are she does not wear a good perfume she is a third person singular here we use helping verb does not does not is used to negate with this statement to make sentences negative we use does not and do not that is why we use does not as a helping verb here only in negative sentences do not use helping verb in affirmative sentences so she does not wear a good perfume when we use does in a statement, we will not use s with a first form of verb. Okay, so the second example is, we do not buy new dresses. With plural, we use do. We do not buy new dresses. Now here you see buy is a first form of verb and we haven't used s, es or ies. Because with plural, we do not use these letters. Third one is, you do not wash your hands with you we use do not or do we sorry you do not wash your hands after negative here comes interrogative sentences in interrogative sentences we make questions okay so the structure is very much simple the helping verb comes at the beginning of the sentence do or does plus subject plus first form of verb plus object after object question mark is very much important because it shows that it is an interrogative sentence interrogative plus negative sentence it is the same with a select difference the helping verbs are do and does as you already know it comes at the beginning of a sentence because we are going to make a question okay plus subject plus not not is very important because it shows negation plus first form of verb plus object and yes question mark and now quickly let's get into the examples of interrogative sentences the first one is does she wear a good perfume okay according to the subject we are going to use the helping verb and here the subject is she with she we use does and does comes at the beginning of a sentence so does she wear first form of verb a good perfume the second is do we buy new dresses Again, according to the subject, we are going to put helping verb. So, V is plural here and with plural we use do. Do we buy new dresses? Third one is, do you wash your hands? If you remember, with you we use do. That is why here also we have do as a helping verb. So, do you wash your hands? Okay, now let's make both the sentences together, negative plus interrogative sentences. Does she not wear a good perfume? Everything will be the same. We are just going to add not after subject. To make it negative sentence, and we use does to make it interrogative sentence. 
okay so the second one is do we not buy new dresses do you not wash your hands i hope it is pretty clear to you it's very easy concept do practice this at home so that you can easily grasp the idea and the whole concept of present indefinite tense this is all for today hope you all enjoyed today's lecture thank you so much